Yo guys, what's going on? Now in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your ethernet settings to get the best possible, uh, strongest, fastest connection for Fortnite with your ethernet cable plugged in. And I'm going to show you how to get pretty much zero ping and zero percent packet loss as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do, it's very simple, is uh, go down and go to your control panel, click this, and go to network and sharing center, then go to change adapter settings. Okay, so once you have this page open, you'll see all your different connection types. Here's my wireless one, and here is my ethernet, so I'm going to right click my ethernet one. Now open up this box make sure you uncheck these two boxes unless you're uh, using this PC for printing but if you're not using it for printing then make sure you uncheck these two boxes then you want to press configure and open up another box then go to advanced and this is where we're going to be doing most of the um, optimization most of the optimizing that's the word so um, there are a couple important ones like energy efficient ethernet make sure you disable that and green ethernet disable that as well now the next thing is interrupt moderation make sure this is disabled although depending on your CPU it might be better if you have it on but that's just something you can play around with next one is um where is it speed and duplex this is kind of the final one in this box and then we'll go on to something else after this which will be the final step now speed and duplex there's quite a few options here but it'll probably be preset to auto negotiation what you want to set it to is the like highest amount of data so I've got one gigabytes per second here so that's the fastest there and then you want to make sure it's not half du duplex you want to make sure it's full duplex so the best option I've got here is one gigabytes per second full duplex so I've selected that now that should be pretty much everything you're gonna need to change so I'm gonna click OK and that will save your settings next thing you need to do is just go back into it I probably shouldn't have pressed ok just yet but it doesn't matter just make sure that you just go back into it all the settings are saved anyway so you want to go in and then find internet protocol version 4 tcp forward slash ipv4 you want to find that and then click properties and that will take you to this page here and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want to I think this button will be pre-selected um, which will grey out these boxes so you want to make sure that you click this button instead which will allow you to change these buttons um, this DNS address here and you want to just set the first line to 1111 and then second line to 1001 that will set you to a better server I think it's even Google's own server as well so it's a more stable server but you don't have to do that bit if you don't want to now once you've done that there's one final step in the epic games launcher so open up the epic games launcher Okay, so once you have the Epic Games Launcher open, make sure you go down to Settings, then scroll down to the bottom and then find Fortnite. Click the drop down menu and then you'll see. Oh, you have to check this box Allow Additional Command Line Arguments. Find that box and then you just want to type in this command here and then just leave it there. 
uh, I'll leave that command in the description so you can just copy and paste it but that goes for all the optimization now and now you can just launch Fortnite okay so now we've done pretty much all of the optimization that you uh, need to do so now just go onto Fortnite and test it out also one thing to mention is if anything does go wrong uh, you get any error messages I got an error message the first time but then I clicked OK and then tried again and um, it worked after that and it's worked every time since but if you do start getting error messages and you can't play the game it won't let you into the game then you can just change all the settings back to what they were before or just change certain settings okay so here is my connection I've just logged it into a creative lobby I'll try and go into a game mode because there's a lot of people in it to uh, test it